All right, so as he said there, Craig is now recording. So we are on the record now. And this is the beginning of the October uh, council members meeting for Awake in the North. Uh, looking over the roster here, we have everyone present except for uh, Chris, who is, I believe, out of town at the moment, and Anya, who is under the weather, so will not be joining us. Other than that, we have everyone uh, who is a seated chair present and accounted for. And we will kick it right off, uh, starting off the list. Uh, Brad, our Chancellor of Regnabue 8. How are you, Brad? His bandwidth is dying because of the videos. Go ahead and click that off. I can't off. understand a word anybody is saying. All right. Let's go ahead and for Brad to do, let's go ahead and turn off our video. All right, Brad, can you understand us now? Oh, that's much, much better. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, with your bandwidth, when we have video on, your computer lags down trying to process our videos. Yes, so, yes. That's the <laughs> All right. So how are you? Me? Yes, you. Oh, I'm doing okay. I think I'm coming down off my birthday high, though. <laughs> At this part of the meeting, this is where you, as the Chancellor of Regnumburi, it discuss your activities uh, as they pertain to Awaken the North over the last month. Were you a Chancellor at the last meeting? I don't believe I was. Did I make a Chancellor? I think it was after the last meeting. So, uh, for those listening... We do have a brand new chancellor with us. His name is Brad Moreland. He is the chancellor of Ragnaboy It, which is our rainbow clan, our LGBTQ2 plus community. Uh, been doing an awesome job with it. And we're really happy to have you as part of the team. So Brad, you came on, I think, just after the council meeting from last month. So go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what you've been up to for this last month as it pertains to ATN. Well. I, as you all know, I'm Brad. <laughs> um, for the last month, I have been actually really busy with um, all of the, um, like the the late Pride festivals, and uh, this month is um, LGBTQ History Month. So each day, I've been uh, posting something new you know, get people aware of prominent figures in our history who are part of the community and maybe learn a little bit about each one and how pride actually came to be. Awesome. It's been great fun reading your posts in the Facebook. Now, you don't just post in the Facebook, though. You're posting in the Discord rooms as well. Yes. Yeah, so that is awesome. Uh, it's come to our attention that not all of our members are in Facebook. We're about a 50-50 split between the Facebook and the Discord. Uh, a lot of those who are in Discord are not in Facebook, and a lot of those in Facebook are not in Discord. So having the double coverage is awesome so that everyone can see. So I know I have been really impressed and uh, grateful for the actions that you've been doing. Uh, that is one of the reasons why we went ahead and made you a chancellor instead of just a chair. Uh, for those who may remember, Brad started out as the chair of Regnaboy 8 and then uh, worked himself up to becoming an actual uh, council member as a full-fledged chancellor and also gives our LGBT community a better representation on the council and a better voice for us to know what to do to help them out more on a daily and ongoing basis. So you've been doing an awesome job at it. I love you for it. We all appreciate your dedication and hard work. I'm sure everyone else will agree with me that you've been doing awesome on it. So as for upcoming events, do you know of anything oh, off top your head coming up soon? There, there are quite a few, actually. Um, the the last full month of October is a sexual awareness week. 
Um, and the 26th, which is kind of in the middle there, is Intersex Awareness Week, or day, I should, excuse me. Um, if people don't understand what intersex means, I am going to do a whole big post about that. So that will be next week, week after, somewhere around there, the 26th. And then in November, we have on November 7th, uh, Transgender Parent Day, which I believe this is the first time they've done that. Um, and then on the 8th is Intersex Day of Remembrance and Intersex Solidarity Day. And the 13th through the 19th of November is Trans Awareness Week. And then the 20th of November is Transgender Day of Remembrance. Awesome. So there's quite a few things coming up. <laughs> Sounds like. All right. But you'll be posting those in the Discord and Facebook to keep us up to date with it? Yes. As yes. you have been doing, which has been awesome. We appreciate you for it. Thank you. All right. You would like to say to the populace, these are recorded and put on the website for everyone to listen to whenever they want to. So if you'd like to say hi to somebody or just give a general uh, brief history of yourself or not, whichever you'd like to do. Well, just hi, everybody. <laughs> I am a real person. You can hear me finally. <laughs> All right. Well, again, Brad, we love you, and we appreciate all you do. Um, just keep up the good work. Thank you. All right, moving on, we have Kalista, the terror from the north. Hey. Hey. <laughs> good evening, Kalista. How are you? I'm doing just fine. And how is life in the uh, frozen north neighbor of ours? Well, it's not quite frozen yet, but it's getting there. Yeah. Um, How are things going in your office? In my office? Oh, um, fine. I I put out the call the other day um, for submissions. Um, I haven't checked my email today, so I don't know if I've got anything yet. Okay. Uh, Clarify for our listeners, submissions for what? Oh, sorry. Uh, submissions for the uh, the um, winter newsletter for uh, Yule. And when do those submissions need to be in? December 1st. And what are you looking for? I'm looking for, um, again, recipes, uh, you know, old, like, not like ancient recipes that were pulled out of a crypt, although if you find those, those would be cool. Um, but like, you know, recipes that may have been handed down or whatnot. Um, as long uh, as it's recipes from a crypt, not recipes using things from a crypt. Correct. Oh, shoot. No mummy juice this time. Yeah. Oh, That'd be kind of bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, beyond that, uh, articles on uh, or Sky, or Sky, uh, Scotty, um, My brain just died. That happens when it's your turn? The that wild hunt. Um, you know, like anything and everything surrounding like the winter months and, and the focuses that we tend to put on those months and Yule um, uh, articles about uh, maybe Issa uh, Hagalaz. Um I really enjoyed Russell's uh, article on Yara last quarter, so <laughs> hoping maybe he'll submit something again. Um, if he's listening to this. I'm sure he will. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got, um, oh gosh, what is her name? Deborah, I think is her name. Um, that's so embarrassing. Hang on. She's one of the artists that we have in here, and she's working on a painting of Scotty to be included. Denise is her name. Um, I need to get in touch with uh, Ellen, mm -hmm. see if she wants to do a comic for this one. And uh, Side note, to interrupt you for just a minute, 
when you talk to Ellen, uh, ask her about her uh, drawing that she did for the, uh, what do they call it? Um, oh, the Inktober drawing that she did? Yes, the Inktober. Yeah. Did you get a drawing for that? I did. It was awesome. That's amazing. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Ellen Laxonen. Uh, it's E-L-I-N, then L-A-A-K-S-O-N-E-N. -E she is one of our resident artists. She's in, where is she in? She's in Norway, Finland? Sweden. Sweden. She's, she's in one of those silly Norse countries somewhere. Uh, <laughs> and she does fantastic drawings. Uh, look her up on Facebook and ask her to see... Her uh, inked tober, inked tober uh, submission because it is just fantastic. It's adorable. She's got a whole set she's doing with that young lady, and it's just amazing. So yeah, she's yep. she's great. The like the creativity and and just the I love her line work and everything. I'm just gushing over here every time I see anything that she does. So <laughs> definitely, um, she has her book out. Um, for a shameless plug for a minute. Um, do, 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 do. If I can find what her book is, anyway, find her on Facebook. Uh, she's got books, she's got a couple different books that she's got out now, uh, mostly graphic novels and such, but they are just amazing. Um, and she does amazing, amazing work. So, yeah, uh, she's from Norbotten's land, Sweden. So, anyway, sorry, go ahead. No, it's fine. On. Yeah, uh, I, I, I mean, we've got, you know, we've got a lot of, of really talented people, and I'm trying to um, showcase as many of them as I can get into a newsletter edition. Right. Um, so, but we have the blog now as well. It's up and running again. Um, oh. So I can use that as well to do some showcasing and, and spotlighting and um, yeah. Yep, the blog is on the website on awakenthenorth.org. Uh, across the top on the navigation menu, I believe it's uh, news and what's the actual thing for it? Do you remember? News and articles. News and articles. There you go. Um, so that our, our lovely listeners know, uh, right now, uh, regardless of when you guys are listening to this, it's late at night. So we've all had very long days. We're all tired. Half of us are sick. So the, uh, the linear thought with this <laughs> meeting might not be quite as linear as previous meetings. We're all kind of punch drunk and, and tired. So. Bear with us, and we'll get you the information that you want as we go through this. Uh, anything else that you'd like to report from your station? No. Nothing I can think of. Okay. Do want to give one quick shout-out, because you have your own PR team. Yes. And the ladies on your team have been fantastic. In that anything I bring to you guys, you take care of immediately and get up across all the socials. Uh, that really has taken a big toll on me and made my life a whole lot easier. Having you guys able able and willing to uh, put out all the stuff, all the stuff, because I throw a lot of stuff at you. <laughs> it's been great that you guys have been amazing in getting those out and across all the socials because I suck at that. So. Um, I have to thank Brad as well. The other day, he he actually stepped in and and took care of something that I wasn't able to handle at the time. So, yeah, um, yeah it's yeah. awesome. That's what it's teamwork. about: is teamwork. Yep, so, yep, definitely. But uh, definitely let your ladies know that their uh, their efforts have been noticed as well, and we are all truly grateful for everything you guys do. I will let them know. Awesome. All right. Going down the list here, we have our wonderful Hydrighton Cal. Cal, how are you, darling? 
Good. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm okay. How's hey? Loud. Of course. We wouldn't expect anything different. We'd be kind of concerned if he wasn't. Uh, for those who do not know, Hey Hey is uh, technically on paper, Hey Hey is Cal's pet, but we all know it's the other way around. Uh, he has Cal trained rather well to feed him and water him when he wants. So he's also very yep. loud. There's Cal in the background, or that's uh, Hey Hey in the background right now. Uh, hey Hey is a pigeon. Yes. Is he a pigeon or just a pigeon? He is literally a stray pigeon who kind of moved in with me. Got it. Yep. He is always fun to hear in the background. <laughs> he is a uh, dumpster bird. Right. But we love him. Um, but yeah, nothing really to report. It's been a very quiet month for the most part. Um, yeah, it's my job's been easy recently. Right. Really? Like I keep saying, it's been nice. Yep. That's that's nice. You have one of the few positions where hearing that you haven't had anything to do is a good thing. I agree. So, yeah. And I, I fully agree. It's been a very nice, quiet month. There haven't been any desktops that I've been aware of, really, that have been needing any type of intervention or anything. So, um, big chunk of that's probably because Anya's been sick and out of it for the month. So, um, she hasn't been here yeah, to start. She hasn't been around to start fights. <laughs> and I can say that right now because she's not here and she won't beat me. And we all know she's not going to listen to us anyway. So, yeah. No, I, I tease Anya. We love you. We miss you. Get better soon. Come back to us. All right. So, anything interesting happened in your life this past month? Um, not. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm kind of excited that in about a, two weeks I get to go visit Anya and a bunch of my friends in Utah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, That'll it's going to be nice. Yeah. That'll be fun for you. Well, good. Yep. All right. Well, as I have said repeatedly, and I'll say again, and will continue to say, it's always... Good to have you around. Uh, I love the peace of mind of knowing that you were there in case we should need. But I love the peace of mind knowing that we don't need you. So I do too. It's very nice. <laughs> like, yeah. Yep. All right, my dear. Well, thank you. Uh, moving on, we have Galaxy. Galaxy, are you still awake? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. I'm here. Okay. I know it's even later for you than it is for me, and I'm exhausted. And I know most of the stuff that you've been doing, so I know you're exhausted too. So, yeah. Right out of oral surgery, so I sound like I am eating marbles. Yeah, you sound fine. <laughs> okay. So, as scribe, anything particular that you would like to mention? So, we also have actually had a very um, quiet month. Uh, the Gozar training program has been a major focus, and that's moving along very well. Most of you know I spend most of my time with my face in the research for that. Right. Um, I have Anja's notes. Um, she's under the weather, as you said, but she sent me the numbers. Awesome. Our members group, our members group is up 3.72%. Cool. The engagement is up 15%, um, which is wonderful to hear. Our members group total members is 195, and 176 of them are active. Wait. Right. Our Did public group is up only 0.46%. Oh, to what be fair, the public group is also huge, so percentage-wise... Uh, while it might be a low percentage number, it's still a, a decent number of new folks. So Right. Right. Yeah. That's good. Um, and the engagement is up also in the public group. Awesome. Did she uh, get to the days that are most popular? Um, she did not. Okay. 
No, um, she did say we still have a lot of requests coming in. There has been a lot of movement this month as far as um, members. Awesome. That is always good to hear. And as far as I know, Chris, who is not here, of course, uh, did get it fixed to where new members, there was an issue where new members were not automatically getting accounts created uh, by the software the way it was supposed to. Um, but I believe that has been rectified and all of the uh, previous members who had requested uh, as well as new members coming in are getting their accounts uh, created automatically by the software as it happens. Is that the same as what everybody else is understanding? Mm -hmm what I understand. Awesome. <laughs> so slowly but surely we are growing, uh, which of course is always a good thing. Not our main right. focus, but is a good thing. So awesome. So good news all around. Sweet. Anything else that you would like to report? Um. No, it's it's been a good month, a busy, very busy month, but um, nothing new. We're we're just moving along, growing steady, keeping everybody happy, and and um, doing a lot of research, a lot of research. <laughs> I love it. I oh. enjoy it. I I actually really thrive off of the amount of research I do for the Awaken the North. <laughs> right. And. Uh of course, I tell you, not nearly as often as I should, how much I appreciate all the hard work that you do uh, for me, because not only are you the scribe, but you're still my personal assistant, and you help keep my brain together and remind me of things, or tell me that you think there's something going on, so I should check the calendar. I go, look. Um, my yeah, defense, I was at home. <laughs> uh, you're definitely an integral part of the team, and we love you, and we appreciate everything that you do to help out me specifically. Thank you all. I, I love being here, and I love you all. <laughs> I Even guess we call it you. <laughs> all right. So after Galaxy, we have Becca. Becca has some exciting news. If Becca's still awake. She might be asleep. I'm not. I couldn't get it unmuted. What exciting news do I have? What's your job? I'm in I'm the Chancellor of Military um, Affairs. And... This is affairs. I do something with the military. I hope y'all get beard chits if you follow the process correctly. Chancellor of Military Services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the comms. I am. How many requests are you currently working on? Just one. Just the one? Just, um, yeah, just one. Did you finish up the other guys? Who? You have two that I know of. Uh, Dalton and... Crap, the other one we were working on. There was a Navy guy that got sent out. He's going to update me once he lets me know the status of it. But that was sent out like the next day. Okay, so you've already got that one finished. Then. Oh, that was, so we are done with that one. Yeah, that's been done. Okay, sweet. So that's good. You got that one done and finished. And yeah, the Army. The panels. Army one I'm going to go work on this weekend. Sweet. You're yeah, doing yeah. stuff and getting stuff done. And it's yes, awesome. I'm trying. Really folks who are coming to you and, and using your help, which is good. I'm trying. Yep. And you've got an amazing fence. Oh, it's pretty sick. It is. It's pretty Describe amazing. Describe your fence for our fine listeners. So, if y'all are on Tiki Talk, which I'm sure some of you kids are, kids these days, I'm hip, I know the lingo. There is a page called the Halloween page, and this guy does a bunch of de do it yourself stuff, which is some of the stuff is, is pretty darn cool. And we 
recreated our version of his fence that he originally did. Um, and he actually I tagged him in it or her. I'm pretty sure it's a gentleman or what have you. Um, and he responded and he was like, I really like your lantern, so I'll take what I can get. Well, that's awesome. I it's didn't always, expect him to respond, so um, that, I'll take it. It's always fun when the original creator uh, notices your replications. I think mine's better. We have we have pumpkins that light up, so I'm well, just saying. Go. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, as I've told the others, you know it's specifically true for you, too. We love you. And we appreciate all your hard work and dedication, especially every Thursday with your hammer post for Thor. Listen, I'm just saying he's a pretty sweet guy. Yeah. All the inter- and all the interaction that that uh, builds up and such and the community, that's always great to watch all the conversations and such there. So that Listen, is. All- I'm just saying, I know some of you who are listening have more hammers than you let on about. So I expect y'all to show me some of them hammers on Thursday. Yep. Uh, For those who don't know, on Facebook on Thursdays, uh, Becca posts our uh, uh, Thor's Day hammer blog and requests everyone to share pictures of their hammers. And it's, it's a great time. It's really fun. So... And sometimes I ask questions, which I hope you'll answer. This lets me know that you're reading the posts. Right. All right, my dear. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We love you. I love you guys. I'm sorry I couldn't get the mute button off. My bad. But I have That's a, a I have a P, I have PT in the morning, and I'm fading fast, but... Right. It's a pleasure to be part of this council. Y'all are, y'all are amazing. Go give Heather a hug for us. Get some sleep. We will talk to you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night, dear. That brings us to. Let's go ahead and skip over one real quick and go to Storm. Storm is our Chancellor of Racial Diversity. Ah, there it is. Hello. Hello, dear. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I am good. I am tired, but I'm good. <laughs> How are things <laughs> with you this month? Uh, it's it's been a pretty hard and heavy month, that's for sure. Um, but um, we did get that uh, BIPOC portion of the server up and running, and I've been able to post articles and stuff in there so i'm really happy um and then um yeah we've only got got one big thing this month or this upcoming month is native american heritage month um so i'll talk to we'll uh we'll figure out a banner thing and then i'll start making a crap ton of posts (laughs) about that Wait, is that November? Mm-hmm. November is Native American Heritage Month? Yes, sir. See, I didn't know that. That's kind of awesome. I like that. Oh, I'm really... Right. <laughs> yep, just make sure that, uh, uh, again, we post it in the Facebook and the Discord so that folks okay. see it on either one, whichever one they're, they're a bit. Um... You can work with Calista and, and get banners and stuff, and you know the drill. You know what you I don't yeah. have to tell you what to do. <laughs> I don't have to tell you what to do. I'm not your real dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, line three. we can get that taken care of for sure. Uh, did you get the email from line three today, yesterday? No, no. but I am home with my... my- Thunderbird, so it might just be updated on my computer that needs to go through or something. So I will check it because um, I did check it check it earlier today and I didn't see anything. 
Yep, there was. Let me see. It, it's probably entirely on my end, to be honest. I have a very old computer. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was. I got a got an email from them that I was reading earlier. Mm -hmm. One of my many email addresses. I'm not going to sit here and try to find it. But yeah, um, <laughs> the, the the some of it was um, that uh, uh, the populace showed up in force and made an actual appearance and made great strides in stopping the Line 3 production. And mm. it was awesome. Uh, a lot of it happened on... Uh, um, uh, yeah. Um, crap. What used to be Christopher Columbus Day is now Indigenous Peoples Day. A lot crap. of it happened on Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, and we really showed up in force, and, and it was a great thing. It was, it was good reading the, the email. So I'm excited for you to be able to get it and read it, because I know you'll be excited about it, too. Absolutely. I am <laughs> I am very excited about this now. <laughs> uh, for our lovely listeners, Line 3 is a project that is near and dear to our hearts, uh, one that we are helping support with Awake in the North. Um, one I can give a, a quick rundown uh, reader this version of what line three is for those who don't know so essentially line three the one that we are currently protesting um is an extension of a currently existing pipeline um it is going through um it is the plan is for it to be built through um lands that have been granted to the anishinaabe people through treaties that they have with our government for their use. And we basically are allowing um, this company, Enbridge, to completely disregard those treaties. And in fact, our government is allowing protesters to be brutalized and arrested at the protest sites. Um, this company does, not only are they disregarding treaty lands, um, they also do not have a very clean environmental history as well. In fact, the original line three they're planning on leaving it in the ground and it has a history of leaking so this is not a safe project even if it wasn't on treaty lands um so it is definitely something that we should all be protesting <laughs> and as uh, heathens we are stewards of the land and are supposed to be protecting the lands for our future generations and mm -hmm idly by as this line three nonsense goes through is not something that I myself in good conscience can do and still call myself a heathen because it's it's just it's bad uh, for listeners if you want to look it up uh, line three oil line on Google will bring up tons of different resources for you uh, check it out sign the petitions uh, throw whatever support you can behind it it's definitely something that we're near and dear to our heart I will also be post about this um, so that everybody can, you know, catch themselves up on the basics of it, as well as some resources that they can have to help. Sweet. All right. And as always, I, I feel kind of like a broken record, but it's true with each and every one of you. I adore you all. And thank you so very much for everything you do, Storm. Um, <laughs> You are a very vital member of the team, and you do amazing works for us. I'm happy to be a part of it, awesome. and I love you guys. We love you, too. <laughs> and that brings us to the best for last, Mr. Russ. How are you, sir? Did we lose a Russ? Russ is not muted. Russ is muted now. Now Russ is not muted. Is Russ having issues with his audio again? It seems like Russ might be having issues with his audio again. This is what happens when you shave the beard and go inside. <laughs> yeah. 
Russ, I can edit this and, and take the the quiet time out if you want to try to close Discord and reopen it and see if that'll help you out. Well, the first thing I'm going to do when I win the lottery is buy all y'all new computers. <laughs> I would love that. Great. Russ, too. you're back in. Can you hear me now? Oh. Yes, there, you there you are. What a miracle. Closing Discord worked. And awesome. The computers are just hating me lately. I don't really know why. Right. All righty, folks. So looking at the financial numbers we all got going on, uh, October has been kind of a quieter month. We're starting to see a little bit of a trend. This is the third straight month where Patreon has gone down, actually. It peaked in July at 324, and it had been steadily climbing till then. Then it dropped to 314 in August, 281 in September, and 271 in uh, October. So kind of an interesting trend. Was not expecting that. It does kind of lead me to believe that the 1% month-to-month uh, -month growth rate we had projected may need to be revised. I think we should probably wait another couple months just because Spanish pred predictions are always eh, a little wonky. They're spiky, spiky. Right. Um, but aside from that trend, for the rest of the month, uh, the only other notable thing so far is October is the first month to date. It's only the 20th, so we got 21st. We got 10 more days. Uh, that has no member donations. And that is the first month since really all the way back to September of 2020. Okay. So kind of another interesting thing, which may just be indicative of a slowing growth rate in new members. The shopping itself, uh, merchandise sales, always kind of spike a decent month. So far we've got just under hundred bucks in merchandise sale, which is actually up overall from the 30 from September, which is one of the lower months. Usually it is around at least 100 or so, but August, September, we're 62. So a decent month for people buying some nice merchandise from Wake in the North. Not a great month for Patreon. The overall, our um, cash influx and outgoing is doing pretty good. We were at 522 two days ago on the 19th. So I don't suspect that has changed much. And uh, despite having some lower revenue the last couple months, our net gain month to month is holding pretty steady. We're getting a little bit more money in the coffers each month. So oh. we can do something big sometime soon, knocking on some wood as I say that, mm -hmm. just in case. Otherwise, uh, decent and not too terribly notable month so far. Do you feel it is time? Has it been long enough time uh, since the last one? Do you feel it's time that we should maybe try to do a fundraiser? Yeah, I think I would suggest that. Okay. Um, Especially with the holiday season coming up, it would probably be a pretty good timing wise thing to do. I know I am not one of those ones that wants to be. Uh, hounding the members constantly about, hey, will you donate? Hey, will you donate? Hey, will you donate? So I like to Agreed, uh, totally. far enough between where we're not exhausting the members or making them feel like they need to donate. Um, but, of course, as everyone knows, the donations are how we keep the lights on around here. So, um, Calista, are you still listening? There you are. Um, how about you work with your team and come up with some ideas of what we can do for fundraisers? Okay. And see what options we have for that. Maybe in okay. November we can start trying to work on a, a fundraiser or something. So. All right. Awesome. Anything else for us? That is about all I got. Uh, for those folks who are interested in the council, I will pop up the spreadsheets that I've been oogling the last couple of minutes and yammer on about into the council chat at the end of the meeting.
Awesome. And you'll get me the. Uh, have you gotten me the the last month's PDF for the website? I, I did. I emailed it a couple weeks ago. Uh, if you didn't get it, I can go ahead and resend it. I'm sure I probably did get it. I've been uh, busy doing other stuff. And I haven't updated the website yeah, like I need check to. Maybe uh, like it went to your um, Thunderbird. Uh, sorry, not Thunderbird, but your ATN email box probably on right. October 6th, give or take. Okay. I'll look at that tomorrow. Um, it's been hectic around here, and I haven't been. Haven't been keeping as, as good of an eye on my emails as I should, uh, simply because everything else was going on this month. Um, October is also Popcorn Sales Month with Scouts. And for those who don't know, I'm involved in three different Scout units. So between that and the business and ATN and the uh, clergy training program that we've been working on, uh, there's a few things I've been lax on checking on, uh, my ATN email being one of them. But I will make an effort to sit down tomorrow and, and wade through all that and see what I can figure out. And then we'll get the website updated um, either tomorrow or Monday. Because my wife and I are going camping for the weekend with no kids. And we're going to go relax and have fun. So. Uh, Good plan. Um, yep. Yeah. Congratulations. Great. I'm excited. Uh, be a first time camping without children in years so that'd be a good day yeah uh russ you are a vital member of the team and i know we don't talk nearly as much as i should but uh, i do want you to know that you are valued and we do appreciate everything you do uh you are one of the main reasons why awake in the north is running the way it is and why we're able to stay running because you've got the head for numbers that i don't so the hell out of you. Thank you. Glad to help. Definitely. All right. So that's everyone that was in here. Anyone else have any comments, concerns, emotional outbursts? Anything like that? Now take the silence as a no. So. Here's a new thing that we're going to do this month that you guys are not aware of. I'm going to spring it on you right now. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Bradley, our chancellor of the Oregon Boy It. Yes. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Uh, pick, pick one council member and give them a kudos. Aww. One? One. Well, how about... Oh gosh, who do I pick? Because everybody deserves kudos. Right. Um... Pick store. And the reason being is because you're always there for if I need help with something or if you know I want to post something in your groups, you're always just willing and, and you're just happy all the time. <laughs> and it put it makes me happy. Aw, thanks. It's <laughs> awesome. Calista. Um, Your turn. Hmm. I will give kudos to Cal because Cal is awesome, even though Cal works more behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. We couldn't, we couldn't do. We we couldn't manage the 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 Facebook and the Discord and everything without I don't want to say without some, some kind of fear of retribution. But <laughs> 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 if I were going to say that, it would 
be a heck of a retribution to fear. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, fear kudos Cal. to you. Awesome. Speaking of Cal, who would you like to give kudos to, Mayor? Um. I was honestly going to say Russ, because, like, for the same reason you said, like, I know it sounds dumb, but, like, I hate math. <laughs> and anybody who can do math and not hate it, they have a special power. Right? <laughs> it's a scary power, and I don't understand how it works. <laughs> <laughs> we call it magic. <laughs> it's, it's like I it's like I don't want to ever deal with that. Managing my own finances is a bit too much. <laughs> Galaxy. Yes. Who would you like to give kudos to? You know, she isn't here tonight. Um, so I do hope she hears this, but Anja. She um she keeps the 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 applications coming in and the welcomes happening and she's always on top of all of the emails and I spoke to her just briefly today to get her numbers and um, she does a lot and it was also behind the scenes so not everybody knows she's the one that's making it happen so thank you even though you're not here tonight I really appreciate you this is very true she works her tail off and we all love her Mm -hmm. Russ. I'm going to give a big old shout out to Lady Galaxy for having a quite literal galactic amount of energy and <laughs> doing everything she does and keeping Beast on his toes. All 10 Thank of them. You. Must be all 12. <laughs> how many toes Beast has? I've never counted. <laughs> yeah. Awesome job. Thank uh, you so much. My, my human suit is. is proportionate with everything. I have 10, so I blend in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Galaxy does an amazing job. And you guys don't see our private conversations. You guys see the conversations <laughs> we have in the public chats and such. <clears throat> but if you could see the uh, private Discord and the private Facebook uh, message that we have, uh, printing it out would take at least three reams of paper. Um, she we is literally all talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> drop it and work her, her tail off so that is a, an excellent kudos thank you Storm oh. Oh. yeah this is actually really hard um, <laughs> hmm. well yeah I'd have to say you know kudos to Brad because he you know he came in and just was like a firecracker you know like he popped off and he has not stopped popping <laughs> off since day <laughs> one <laughs> um so i know we all love your energy brad so thank you, thank you thank for you. being here i love being here so i i really appreciate you awesome that was fun wasn't it yeah. All right. Well, guys, uh, thank you all very much for attending. Uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and call it to a close. Uh, this was a shorter than normal, and I'm okay with that. Uh, unfortunately, there were several who were not able to be here tonight. But uh, if you have any questions for the other chancellors or ch chairs, of course, you can reach us through the emails, through the Facebooks, through the Discords. There are tons of ways to reach us. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know how to reach who you want to reach, or really aren't quite sure who you need to talk to to begin with, uh, go ahead and check out the website. In the About Us section, there is a council member section, and it has all the counselors and chairs uh, listed there with their contact emails. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to a close. Does anyone want to second the closing? I second. second. Oh. Awesome. We have Russ <laughs> seconding the closing of the meeting. This brings it to an adjourning. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody.